Hey guys, good morning. You really thought it was the last of me. Vlogmas was amazing. Um, literally vlogged every single day of December and I'm knock on wood, pretty sure. We can check the footage. I'm pretty sure there were no breakdowns. That actually might be a new record for me, so <laughs> love that. We're not on break yet, but we're going to and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be amazing. But until then, you get my face. As you can tell, it is raining. It's been freezing all week. It's been in the 40s and 50, it's literally 50 degrees right now. And I know most of you are like, Alicia, it's 30 where I live. Guys, in December in Southern California, it's normally like 80 degrees. Like normally I'm wearing shorts on Christmas. The fact that it's I, like, I, I love it because I actually get a dress for cold weather, but like kind of odd. Also Tiki's in Indiana and she said it's like hot there. Make it make sense, okay? Also, you can probably tell that I'm in Ashley's car. That's what happens when she uh, leaves it parked behind mine, you know? What else can you do? Am I insane for ordering coffee right now? No, not at all, duh. Am I insane for ordering an iced coffee right now? Probably, but you know what? All I'm gonna say is the girlies that get it, they get it. When you want iced coffee, like that's all that sounds good. So I'm also an idiot. I didn't wear, I have like layered, but I didn't wear a hood. It's, it's raining. <laughs> this is exactly why I did not do my hair. That was a lot. Okay, we got the coffee. I definitely may or may not have sat there for 15 minutes uh, filming some TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok. What was I, I, oh, also, oh my God, you guys, this morning I spent, I kid you not, probably 30 minutes, like 30, three zero, 30 minutes, trying to re-pierce my ear. I have this conch piercing right here. It's the one that's like inside my ear. Hold on, you're about to skirt, skirt. I kid you not, 30 fucking minutes, and I did not realize how long I left the piercing out, so it needed re-pierced, and I was sitting there for so long, and I finally got it. I know that might, I don't know if that's disgusting. Oh my God. I was not about to like, let it fully close up. I don't, I can't tell if I just am blind. Like, is my vision getting worse? Like, what? is going on that hurt that hurt so bad i don't know who needs to hear this but if you're in the similar situation just uh you know put your earring in don't let it heal up because that fucking hurt i was about to put lip gloss on and then i i still forgot that you know it doesn't matter at all <laughs> bought a six dollar latte so i could leave my house and feel something today the accuracy. Okay, I finally found the matte Born This Way foundation. I've been using this one and I love it, but I really feel like this one's gonna be better for me. I think I'm gonna try ivory. Just kidding, we're gonna get ivory and snow, and then if I have to mix them, I have to mix them, but we're excited. Okay, so while I, you know, shop around Sephora, why don't we uh, cut to today's sponsor? Because you guys, I'm so excited. Sony is sponsoring today's video, and I'm gonna be telling you all about the vlog camera I've been using. Okay, everyone, now's the time of this video that you probably have been looking for. So if you're new to this channel or you happen to just stumble across this video, Hello, my name's Alicia and I have actually been doing YouTube for a very, very long time. I actually made my account in 2008 and I made this account soon after that, so a bitch has been vlogging for a long time. Let me tell you, I have been on the non-stop quest to find the best ultimate vlog camera for creators. I also just low-key love tech and gadgets and stuff, so I have been testing so many cameras over the years. I don't know why, it's just, it's taken so long for brands to realize that as a creator, there's specific things you want. Like you, you want some things of a DSLR, but you also want some things of like a mirrorless, and then at the same time you want a point and shoot, but you want a better lens and just like the zoom one and, <laughs> and we also just want to see ourselves so we know if we look decent or not like there's so much and genuinely I feel like it's taken until recently to find like a good vlog camera I also have had so many questions over um, the past month where I was vlogging every single day of people wondering what my camera setup is I even had some other influencers DM me being like girl. What are you using? Like what what's the, the quality looks great? The sounds great Like what are you doing? So as you can tell I have a lot to say about vlog cameras and here's the thing too I love quality. I love like good ass production 
However, at the same time, I've realized like what's so special about YouTube is that not everything is like shot on a red cam or super produced or like all these different things. As you saw, I just vlog my my day to day life. Here's the main thing I think a lot of brands have missed is there are beginners, like beginner, 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 beginners, and then there are experts. And then there's this middle group of a lot of us. Do I enjoy photography? Do I love cinematography? Yes, but at the same time, if I'm just going to get coffee or going to Sephora, I don't want to have this really, really, really nice camera. I used to vlog on a lot of DSLRs that were so expensive and so heavy, and it just didn't make sense. And obviously vlogging has gotten so massive over the past few years, and everyone wants to do it. So if you guys remember, I actually did a huge like unboxing um, because Sony was actually amazing and let me test out their new camera. I have been shooting on it for over a month now, and I love it. Like I love it. I'm shooting on it right now. This is the loaner that they gave me. I am obsessed with it. Now they actually recently sent me my very own. This is the Sony ZV-E 10. Not the one. I did try the one and I, I really liked it. However, my favorite thing about the E10 is that it actually has interchangeable lenses. I know. So we're about to do a little unboxing and you don't even know how excited I am. I really feel like this is the best vlog camera for 2022. So good. Let me just, let me, let me set it up. Like, I'm sorry, you don't get it. I am obsessed. Now here's another reason why I really like it. This is what she looks like. It's so freaking cute. It's like just so portable. My favorite thing is that this lens is actually a 16 to 50 millimeter. So it's wide enough to actually get the shots when you're vlogging like this. But then also if you wanna get something from far away, you can easily zoom and it's great. In almost every vlog camera that I've tried over the years, there is not a wide enough lens. And I just, I love a wide lens. The one that I'm currently shooting on is actually a 10 to 18. That's my favorite. The 10, 11 millimeter range. I personally feel like that is my favorite because especially because when you're at an arm's length distance, like if everything is here, you, you can't really see the surroundings of where you are. And it's just, it's too much face. And I just, I really feel like the audience can connect more with you when they can actually see the environment that you're in. So for me, I actually choose to not shoot in 4K because I'm not willing to give up that crop factor that happens a lot of the times. This camera does do 4K, so if I'm ever doing like a really big shoot and I want that like bomb quality, then I'll totally do that. Also, this is so light. It is so light. And it also comes with this wind filter, which I think is game changing and a lot more cameras are going to start coming with these. Instead of just like buying a separate one, it literally goes onto the mount on top of the camera. This is the entire mic. Like uh, there's so much about this camera that I love. So this top part right here, this is the mic and they purposely put it there. So when you're talking from behind the camera and you're vlogging, the mic will actually pick you up as well as if you're in front. So it has like multi directions, which is amazing because normally it's always in the front of the camera. So when people are talking behind the camera, you don't hear that. But this is actually perfect for creators for that reason. But they make it even better because they give you this little wind filter that literally just slides in and this goes over the mic. So if it's really windy out, it works amazing just to like kind of cancel out all that noise. I feel like they really actually thought about creators like us who are trying to document our life, trying to share something with the world. And we want decent quality, like we want good quality, but at the same time, we don't need to be spending literally $5,000 on a camera. And again, coming from someone who has shot on really, really nice cameras, like that's not what you want as a vlog camera. You want something dependable and easy, compact, light, especially because things happen so quick. So if you're with friends and like something's funny or whatever, you don't want to be like, wait, let me like re-get my camera and like set it up and focus and blah, blah, blah. You like, you literally just want to whip it out and hit record. So I really feel like this is the perfect vlog camera. You are going to spend a little bit more money than just a basic point and shoot. But I do think this is that next step if you are someone who wants to take up your like content to the next level. Now, I'm no Peter McKinnon. I'm no Casey Neistat. You know, I, I don't really do cinematography type stuff, but I do YouTube as a full-time career. And I will say I think this was is my favorite camera that I've been working with in the past five years. 
which says a lot, which says a lot. But anyways, regardless, I highly, highly, highly recommend this vlog camera. I do think the ZV-1 is perfect for even more beginners because it just has the lens, but the retractable lenses, like getting different looks, like that is what makes it pop. And like, that's what makes it look different. I, I swear that's why people have asked me like, what's up with your quality? It's so good. I really feel like it's this camera. Like the E10. It's so good. So again, huge, huge thank you to Sony for sponsoring this video. I can't even compute the fact that that's a thing. Um, thank you so much. But also thank you for being such a dope brand and letting me give you like feedback and constructive criticism and things I like and don't like. It is so rare to find brands like that. And I really cannot emphasize enough how much I freaking love this camera. Anyways. Okay, now let's go back to uh, Alicia shopping in Sephora and see what she found. We got the goods. So I feel like maybe should we do a little impromptu Sephora haul in the car? I think we should. Impromptu Sephora haul. Oh my God, did they give me a free, she gave me a free sample. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so this was one of those situations where I went in for one thing and I realized I haven't been in Sephora in a long time. So the main thing I went in for was obviously the Born This Way matte foundation a car is pulling up right next to me and i'm pretty damn sure they're staring so i'm just gonna pretend i don't see them that's my trick everyone's like how do you vlog in public especially when you're by yourself and the key is you just don't make eye contact with anyone that is my vlogger 101 tip but we went in yep I did it. Fact. Went in for the foundation, which I'm very excited to try. Thank you guys for letting me know they had a matte version. I felt like a horrible influencer because I should be telling you that they have a matte version, but yeah, thank you to everyone who told me. So very excited for that. Then I also have also really been wanting a scalp massager. Once I got my extensions out, I can actually massage my head and stuff. So, and I've genuinely been meaning to buy one for a long time and I saw it there and I was like, oh my God, let's just do it. Um, so it's super cute, but it's just like one in the shower that you can do. And I feel like will really help like dry skin and stuff. The next thing is something else. I've wanted this for so long and I don't know if it's the best for your skin. I've wanted a little extractor tool. I've never had one. I've never had one of these and I honestly get horrible blackheads. I was like, it's time. It is time. So we got that. Then I also got another um, makeup eraser. I recently started using these, you guys. Um, I've been trying to be a lot better about taking off my makeup. I also got makeup melting balm because of that. I feel like I've been trying to really put in the effort to not use makeup wipes and using one of these things is really cool. I'll do like, once I perfect my nighttime routine, I'll do like an updated how I remove my makeup and skincare video and all that stuff, but let me perfect it first. But point being, I actually really like these. Oh my God, there's someone. <sighs> not me getting nervy. Oh yeah. Am I too am I too close? Am I way too close? No, you're not. He is. Oh, okay. Pull out. okay. <laughs> I didn't even know you were in the car. No, I was like, I can move. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Okay. You're As I'm literally doing my Sephora haul. <laughs> so embarrassing. What was I saying? Makeup, yes. Okay. And then I went to a dermatologist. Honestly, that was like a long time ago. I should go again. But he actually said my skin is more sensitive than I actually thought. So I don't know if I'm going to like this, but this is the Dr. Jar Tiger Grass Enzyme Foam Cleanser. And I kind of, honestly, this was just a... I want to try it out purchase. It wasn't like a, I need it because I have other face wash, but I kind of just wanted to test her out and see how I like her. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Sephora. Anyways, I'm going to go home because there's a package that I cannot wait to open. You don't even know. Hey besties, it's me. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this Sephora haul as well as me sharing, honestly, the best vlog camera for 2022. Like this is it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to see you guys really soon. I um, am really excited to kind of like come back to YouTube and uh, I don't know. I just miss you guys. I'm kind of over this break. I'm bored. I, I don't know what to do. I've been trying to like rest and like, mm, it's kind of rough. So um, anyways, talk to you guys soon. Love you. Mwah!